My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of The Fountain and I had no clue what this movie was about. All I knew is that it was very divisive and after watching it I can see why. But I liked this movie quite a bit. I think for the most part it really works for me. What do I gain from it? What do I think this movie is about? Well, I think it's about life, death, grief, obsession, hope. But I also think it's about how so many of us dread death and our inability to deal with it. And I think it explores all that in very thoughtful ways. And like this movie is very ambitious it takes place in like with like three different time periods and um it's trying to do a lot but the reason why this movie works for me is that its exploration of death is always at the center of it and that's where the emotion comes in and i thought this movie hit those emotional beats it so desperately needed to uh, this movie hits hard quite a few times and um, I wasn't expecting that like uh, this movie is utterly devastating when it needs to be and um, well I think Hugh Jackman gives one of the best performances of his career. I miss this Hugh Jackman that would be in a movie like this, The Prestige, even schlock like Deception. I, I think he's a far interesting actor than the projects he's chosen to be in and like this is just some of his best work. Yes, it's a crying performance, but it's a crying performance that's delivered to perfection. He delivers on every emotional beat he needed to and I really thought he brought some extra depth to this character. You've also got Rachel Weiss, who I think gives a very good performance as well. Who kind of plays the inverse of Hugh Jackman's character. Well, she doesn't feel death. She's embracing for it. She's ready to face it. And I think the way she brings these little nuances to her character were really well done. Um, Ellen Borstein very supporting actress in this movie like she's not in it a bunch but i really thought um this character was very well written and she played her to perfection um could have been a very cliche stereotypical character but she brought some layers here and i was really impressed i also think the overall direction in this movie by darren aronofsky is quite impressive like i said it's ambitious and you've got Lots of different time periods and the production design and the costumes and the makeup always look great. I like the visual effects and how trippy it tries to be in moments. There's a tiny minuscule bit of body hole at the end that I did like quite a bit as well. But if I'm talking the crafts of this movie, the highlight goes to the musical score by Clint Mansell. Uh, the music here is absolutely phenomenal. It is a beautiful, beautiful score that elevates each and every moment and it just adds even more emotion. It's just a work of art, if you ask me. Um, yeah, just a beautiful score. Um, so yeah, like this movie for the most part really works for me. Not everything it's trying to do works. I think the stuff in the present works the best. And I still do like some of the other stuff, but it can feel a little pretentious every now and again. But this is a movie that I'm going to be thinking about for a while. I think it's surprisingly pretty accessible, minus like the last 10 minutes. But uh, it's got lots on its mind, and I think it explores the human condition and love and death and grief and all that in very profound effective means in so effective ways and um i think you've got yourself some really great performances and 
yeah, I really liked this movie. So I'll give The Fountain a 7.5 out of 10. That rating could potentially go up in time, but for now, I'll leave it as it is. But have you seen The Fountain? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.